Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we're doing something a little bit different here and I we are going to be talking about the top 5 game that I am looking forward to of 2022. Uh, I normally do videos like this every single year where I talk about the games that I really, really enjoyed at the E3 event, which hasn't happened for quite a few years now, but I do still like covering these games because we had the, of course, the Bethesda Xbox Showcase, as well as the uh, PlayStation Showcase not too long ago, and I thought I would talk about some of the games that were there, and the games that I am most excited for, so uh, I'm only going to be talking about five here, because again, there weren't too many games that were revealed at these events this year, again, I really, really wish that E3 would come back, it was such a fun, awesome event, and it's just kind of unfortunate that it's still not here, or that it, they kind of have gotten rid of it, I understand why they've still gotten rid of it, because, you know, all of that stuff and all the people from all over the world all coming together at one spot. Uh, maybe, you know, for some people, it probably isn't quite the time yet. Um, but nonetheless, we are still getting a lot of really, really cool uh, live streams and a lot of very, very cool uh, games coming here within this year. So, um, obviously, I'm not going to be talking about games that are coming in 2023 or onwards. Uh, those tend, tend to be revealed as well. But uh, none of those, none of the games that I'm talking about here are going to be releasing uh, in 2023, they're all games that are focused about this year. Because, of course, Starfield will probably be on here. That's a 2023 release, so we're just focusing uh, here on 2022. So, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off here with the first thing, as the first game at the number five spot that I'm most looking forward to with 2022 is I know this is probably super, super obvious, but it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I mean, if you guys have been around the channel at all, you know that, I mean, I'm a Call of Duty channel. So obviously, I am looking forward to the new Call of Duty game every year. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed watching the gameplay that we were given and everything of that nature. I just thought that it looked really, really cool with all of the new uh, modern setting, all the new uh, modern engine and everything like that. And, and overall, I was really, really happy with the gameplay that we saw during the PlayStation event. And again, I'm just really, really looking forward to the game as per usual. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to jump into the reveal trailer just in case you guys missed it. So I will see you guys in a second. Right, that's where we're in position. Bravo team offloads here. Alpha team stays on board to land down range. This is capture or kill. Ya son más de 10 años metiéndole y todavía sueno como nuevo. Barbie no tiene relevo, me sobra el dinero, el respeto y los huevos. Yo, cada movimiento que hago, el juego otro nivel lo eleo. Tú sonaste, te apagaste y no lleva ni la mitad. We're shifting! Watch the containers! How the hell did Iran get their hands on this? It's either Russia or us. Anyway. Mexican Special Forces, 141, they are your brothers now. Where I lay my head is home, there. Weapons hard, Bagueros. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. All right, guys, now coming in at the number four spot, we have a game called Evil West. Now, this game actually wasn't revealed during the summer event that we just recently had, but it was revealed at the Sony State of Play event, I think, a few months ago. And this game was just really, really intriguing. It looks sort of like a... It's obviously a... It takes place in the West. It's a Western cowboy-themed game, but it also surrounds... Uh, vampire hunting sort of stuff and it just looks really really cool what one of the things that i really liked about how this game is the combat looked really really fun really immersive and it looked like a like one of those shooter games sort of like i don't know horizon zero dawn that's just really kind of fast paced focuses on sort of elemental uh, abilities and elemental weapons and it just looks really really cool i really like the sort of atmosphere of the game i like the sound of the main character and overall it just looks really really cool and enjoy the little snippet of gameplay. I 
have a bad feeling about this. One wrong move and we're dead in the water. The one right move and you could catch her and end this war. Young Renz here. Still on your father's leash, I see. What did you see while Felicity was in your head? Death. Okay, let's dance. Alright guys, so now coming in at the number 3 spot, we have a very, very, very interesting game, and this game is actually called Scorn. Now, this game was also, we got more gameplay and a new trailer during the uh, Xbox Bethesda uh, showcase uh, a few weeks ago, and this game looked really, really interesting to me. I don't know what it is about it, what it is about the world, what it is about everything like that, but it just looks really really interesting and i'm just fascinated with how the world looks how well how good the game looks uh, number two and basically this game reminds me a lot of doom but doom if it were a game for adults like not saying that doom isn't a game for adults because obviously it is rated m but like this is supposed to be like a creepier mysterious world and it just really heavily reminded me of dome uh, or of doom sorry this game looks really really interesting really really cool and i'm extremely extremely excited for it like this would be number one if the other two games on this list weren't so good. But yeah, I'm just really intrigued by this game. It's a, it's a horror game supposed to come out in October of 2021. And you guys will see in the little snippet of gameplay. But the horror aspect is mostly, uh, is not really jump scare-esque. It's more just the world building and everything like that. And it just looks really, really cool. Uh, and I'm very, very, very excited for it. Um, this game will come out on Xbox Series X as well. So uh, hopefully you guys go to enjoy the gameplay. Desolate and decayed. A grisly nightmare of macabre perception. Greetings. I'm your host, Doug Bradley, and I invite you to join me as we explore Scorn's mesmerizing labyrinth of odd forms and somber tapestries. You awake in the middle of a desolate hellscape filled with biomechanical contraptions, part flesh, part machine. An industrial civilization now lying in decay and ruin. A hidden fauna sleeps within the underbelly of the world, wanting nothing more than to be left undisturbed. Scorn has been carefully crafted with great attention to detail. Everything is focused on building a specific atmosphere, from a unique organic ecosystem to an unsettling soundscape created by Ethek and Lust Mord. Scorn has no dialogue, so most of the storytelling comes from the environment. Discovering the ever-present symbiotic relationships and how things are connected equips you with the tools to progress. While there is shooting within the game, Scorn is not a shooter. Every encounter must be carefully considered. A wrong choice could be deadly. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the twisted world of Scorn. The team at Ebb Software can't wait for you to uncover the secrets of this unique world as you experience Scorn firsthand this October. Are you prepared to unravel your inner self within Scorn's world of horror?
Alright guys, now jumping in here at the number 2 spot for the number 2 game that I am most looking forward to of 2022, we have ourselves the game called Callisto Protocol. Now, I don't really like horror games that much, which seems like, well, why would you have it on the list? This game simply just looks really, really cool. It reminds me a lot of Dead Space. I mean, it's basically like a Dead Space remaster is what it sort of looks like. Obviously, it's not, but it looks really, really interesting. Uh, very, very creepy looking. Very, very cool. And I really enjoy it. Look, I really like the space theme of it. Uh, hence, you know, Dead Space and everything like that. And I'm just intrigued by the world here as well. Just like with Scorn, which is a very mechanical, weird world. This one is more focused on what could be in space and everything of that nature uh, and a bad guy pulling the strings supposedly uh, this game is supposed to be coming out in december and it just looks really really cool and overall i'm just excited for it so uh, hopefully you guys get to enjoy the trailer Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance at rebirth. every time. All right, guys, now coming in at the very, very last spot, at the number one spot, we have ourselves The Last of Us Part 1. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, well, why would you put a remake as the number one game that you're most looking forward to in 2022? And the simple reason is, is that The Last of Us Part 1 or The Last of Us Remastered, Last of Us, the first game, is one of, if not the best, single player game that I have ever played personally. And a lot of people can second that notion and say that it is the second best or the first best single player game that they've ever played as well. The world of last of us is so incredibly good the story is so incredibly good and it's all fully remastered on playstation 5 from the ground up with you know the basically the last of us part 2 graphics but in the original game which to be honest is way better than the second one and i'm just extremely extremely excited for this game it looks really really good the the type of job that they did in the remaster is absolutely insane and it's not like you know the remastered version like what they did with the last of us so uh, why'd you leave boston the, the last of us when they made the last of us remastered for playstation 4 they actually like the fully made it like the playstation 5 version that we had with the last I of us 2 and again it just girl. looks so so good i'm very very excited to get my hands back He's on this game because again it was so girl. good back in the day and seeing a part one of it being remastered is just nothing but exciting for me personally and i think a lot of people can agree with that as well yeah. and that's why it's at the number one spot I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get into trouble down there. You make every 
Shut. Count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. All right, guys, well, that is going to do it for this list. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are about all of the games that I mentioned. If you guys are excited about this other specific game, please let me know down below within the comment section. I just thought that it would be a fun video to do because I just always like exploring single-player games. I'm a huge, huge single-player game fan as well. Uh, a lot of you guys just see me upload Call of Duty, but I'm just, I really enjoy single-player games from time to time. I have a stack about a mile long of single-player games that I still haven't played yet that I just really, really love. Uh, single player games so yeah these are all games that i'm excited about and games that i'm willing, that i'm definitely wanting to play uh, specifically scorn uh, as of note uh, comes out on october 21st so the odds of it being my halloween special game is very very high and there's a very similar sort of theme with these games they're all sort of horror aspect uh, you know zombies all sorts of stuff like that and you know, those are just sor sort of my type of multiplayer or single player games. Now, of course, as I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, this video is supposed to be focused around games that are uh, coming in just 2022 alone. I'm sure we're supposed to be getting some more announcements and stuff like that. So this list could change as the year goes on. But at least at the moment, th this is my top five. And of course, next year when we have the E3, if we have an E3 event or an event like it, I'll also make another top five videos that top five games that I'm looking forward to. Uh, next year as well so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a little bit of something different but if you guys did enjoy the video like it always appreciate it if you want to check out any of my other previous episodes or any of my other previous videos i should say i'll leave the previous one linked down below as well as it will be at the end of the video as well see you guys all on a, another video very very soon <laughs>